For RCR Wireless News, my name is Sean Kinney. We're speaking today with John Rose, CTO of Dell EMC. So, uh, John, I was hoping you could maybe give me an idea of some of the strategic investments Dell EMC is making in helping their customers build out 5G. Yeah, I mean, 5G is really exciting because it's not just a new radio access network, it's an edge compute model, it's an automation layer that we've never seen before, it's data center modernization. So, you know, obviously as the one of the largest providers of data center infrastructure technology, we're heavily invested in primarily building out the edge, uh, putting compute as close to the real-time environment as possible. That is an enormous new build out that layer didn't exist in 4G, it hasn't existed in mobile before. But beyond that, uh, we understand that the enterprise to exploit the 5G environment has to extend their cloud architecture all the way out to the device. And so a lot of our work isn't actually just the hardware infrastructure to build out the edge, it's the software infrastructure to extend the enterprise and orchestrate all the way out through that edge to the device in the mobile environment. So given the IT needs that we see at the data center, at the edge, at the enterprise, and the software and hardware combination, what's the big end-to-end -end cloud strategy? Yeah, well, the end-to-end the -end is a, a well-orchestrated single experience over a distributed multi-cloud. Now, that sounds like a lot of words, but it basically says, look, at the end of the day, your users are going to be where they're going to be. They're going to be on a 5G environment, they're going to be in the enterprise, they need to be connected, but it, it doesn't need to be a different experience and a different cloud and a different operating model than what you do to aggregate that information at the edge, what you do to bring it into the data center, and, and even what you do to collaborate with the public clouds. So, John, we hear 5G described as this disruptive force, so as it is deployed and scaled, what do you see as really being the disruptive factor? Yeah, you know, actually the, the disruption is a little different than maybe what most people would say. People would say faster, lower latency. Those are obvious. We're going to get there. I think the disruption is similar to what 4G did in terms of disruption. 4G wasn't about a new application. It was about mobilizing all the applications that couldn't become mobile by putting broadband over the air. 5G is about taking all of the cloud experiences that we've created in the data center and created in the cloud environments and making sure that they are mobile friendly and we have a mobile infrastructure that's designed as a cloud platform. So it's less about a specific use case, even though there are lots of them, and it's more about now having a friendly extension of the compute and the connectivity experience that was designed to work in the software-defined cloud environment. And so really what we're doing with 5G is extending the cloud to the mobile edge, and that's a much more complex process than just extending broadband out there, but it's also incredibly disruptive and exciting. Well, John, I appreciate you sharing Dell EMC's perspective on this journey to 5G. All right, thank you very much.